For the country of Israel, we will do the good for our region and bring peace and bring back hostages. Good afternoon, dear friends and allies. Here we are at another gathering, another vigil, another protest, and an end to the war in Gaza to get Israeli hostages released back to their loved ones and to give the Palestinian people and the coastal enclave calls, multiple initiatives, and never-ending back and forth that lead nowhere. Twelve months of death and destruction. As we we respect anything at this point. United we know that everything we is going to say, they all our shallow words and empty lies. To achieve lasting um, and we're here in Israel, to Palestine tell them and beyond. they cannot escape the situation well, we from Israel. Support, and we uh, need you can come here to like a weekend to America, a weekend in New York. And, uh, and at this time, there are still 101 hostages, including our brother, that are still being held in Hamas captivity. And nowhere. It can go anywhere in the world, but it doesn't change the fact, and it can't just get this reality. Dear friends and allies, we feel, most importantly, we feel like he's not doing remember, enough. The government, the Israeli the government, the isn't doing sea. enough. From the river Israeli to the people sea, are all with us. They want satisfied. the hostages Thank to come you. home, but the government isn't doing it. Isn't putting this issue as top priority and doing anything but that. We feel like they're just pushing the time just to stay uh, in power and not not bringing them back, not getting a deal. We were here at the U.S. I was here in the U.S. at Washington two months ago when Tanyahu spoke to the to the Congress. I had hopes and expectation at that time, uh, but as we saw, he spoke nothing about the ceasefire and the hostages. And right at this time, I have nothing to expect from Netanyahu. I don't believe he cares or or thinks about the hostages. We are here to pressure Netanyahu, and we're here to show him the reality.